Our state is reporting the first pediatric flu death of the season. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake spoke to a doctor about what parents should look out for. The death reported today is the first pediatric flu death since February of 2020, before the COVID-19 pandemic. The North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services says our state has seen a rapid rise in flu cases the last few weeks. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends that everyone older than six months should get a flu shot every single year. Dr. Mike Cinnamon is the director of the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit at Cone Health. He says the number of kids who get flu shots is lower than health officials would like to see. It's certainly not the vast majority of people. It's not a required vaccine for people to get into school, so a lot of people choose not to get it. The flu vaccine can also make your symptoms milder if you do happen to get it. While the flu is usually not as serious as other viruses we're seeing right now, like COVID-19 or RSV, the flu can still have complications. It's usually uh, not as life threatening for, for small children as RSV, but it, it can be. Um, so, so children do, do die from this, but it, fortunately it's relatively rare. NCDHHS says so far this season, five adult flu related deaths have been reported as well. Cone Health says if you do or your child get the flu this year, you can make that you can take the medicine Tamiflu, but it only works if it's given within the first day or two of getting sick.